this is a weekly reading for Sagittarius. Um, first we're going to start off with the song choices, and then I channeled a card from my Cat Wisdom deck for you this week. So we're going to do that, and then we'll get right into the reading for the week. Alright, your first song is The Beatles, Come Together, Coldplay, The Scientist, John Mayer, Belief, Fleetwood Mac, Go Your Own Way, Future, 31 Days. And then the card that I um, channeled was Doubt. At times we move through life confidently with clear direction and purpose. At other times we have um, countless questions and are filled with a sense of doubt. Doubt creeps into our minds to encourage uh, us to reflect on our choices we have been making. Um, use this time to question some of your ideas and beliefs. You will come out of this period with more direction and focus. As you know, you feel like the, um, the high priest is in reverse. So silence, suppressed feelings, withdrawal, um, disconnect from, uh, intuition. So you might just want everything to slow down. This is a very moon um, energy, so it's playing with your emotions a little bit. And also, there's a lot of secrets involved, you feel. Um, maybe you're holding secrets, maybe you're holding back feelings, maybe for somebody else, if it's a love relationship. Maybe that your job isn't good if it's job related. Um, or some other personal aspect of your life, you're holding that back from voicing your opinion so that you don't hurt anybody and you don't make it into a big feud. Because in the past, it, you kind of were in the middle of a lot of fist fights or a lot of back and forth. And I think that you just kind of want to take a break this week. Um, just not try to hurt anybody's feelings, but at the same time not get your feelings hurt also. Um, and then we have the week's theme, which is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, major anxiety, sleepless nights, constant stress, worry, female-related health problem. So it's a very Mars energy. Um, yeah, Mars has been causing a mock for a lot of people this week. So, um, yeah, you could be worried about your own health. Um, if you're a woman or, you know, you, you can be a man too. You could have bad health problems too. Um, but it seems to be something with, um, fertility if I had to guess. Um, so that could be weighing heavy on you. It could be a, a ongoing problem or it could be that you missed your opportunity to have kids maybe. Or it could be hard for you to conceive. Also, it could be other things in the realm of health, as in heart, maybe, um, you know, chest areas, or, um, larynx. You might have a lot of problems with talking or your central cortex. Um, that's how I'm feeling, actually. I feel a little choked up, actually, at this whole thing. Um, and it could be very painful for you. And then we have the challenge for this week, which is the Empress. The Empress is femininity, nurturing, um, fertility, nature, uh, beauty, and abundance. Um, there could also be another woman, if you're a woman, or there could be a three-party um, episode. It's a very Venus energy, so um, there's a lot of insecurity on your part. Um, because you feel like they're not going to pick you for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So um, You can only worry about yourself. And if it's like a health problem, you should probably worry about yourself at the moment. Um, so. And then we have the lesson to remember this week which is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, slow progress, restrictions, bad timing, getting a late start, um, losing traction. It's a very Mercury 
energy, so you might be late for work, you might be going through a state of depression, um, where you kind of want to slow down and not do much. Um, you don't want to cause anybody any craziness or anything. It just, you would rather take a back seat at this moment in time because you're not feeling your best. You might call out of work for several days also. Um, then we have the lesson to learn this week, which is the lovers. Um, the lovers, love, harmony, choices, values, alignment. So right at the last minute when you think all is lost, um, love finds a way, you know. No matter what you're going through, there's going to be somebody there um, to look after you. Whether it's a friend, family member, or it is your spouse, partner, whatever the case. They're, they want to look after you. So, And then we have the gift of the week, which is the king of wands. Uh, cutting edge creates tomorrows. Uh, business minded takes charge, um, certain of convictions, um, is a very Scorpio, and it could be your energy as well, um, very fire energy, or water energy, for sure, but somebody's going to, um, just make your week, you know, and if that person does that, you know, be appreciative, because a lot of times it doesn't happen that way, you know, um, and I do hope you have a good week. Um, health issues can be a big issue, especially around this time. Uh, so t take care of yourself. And if somebody takes care of you, you know, be appreciative of that. And uh, Sagittarius, uh, I hope everything goes well for you. I really do. I've seen your charts go from high up and then smash back down. I just hope everything goes all right for you, okay? Let's finish this year strong, shall we? Anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section. I read everything as you know. And I will see you in the next reading. Alright, Sagittarius? I hope everything goes well. Alright, bye now.